Welcome to Waterford City Council's Experimental Technology Department. Built here for just 50 million euros on 10 acres of prime South Kilkenny land. Yoink! Waterford has long been associated with blue sky thinking and technological innovation, stretching way back to the 18th century when it built the world's first glass factory. A factory made entirely of glass. And that tradition continues to this very day. This building is 90% glass, 5% cement, and the remaining 5%, that's blood, sweat and tears. The City Council had caught wind of my ongoing documentary series, The New Normal, which is what you're watching now, and they invited me along to meet their extraordinary new member of staff. Hi Stephen, I'm Brian Gosling. But I'm not talking about Brian Gosling. Um, I'm responsible for rolling out the project here. Ah, Brian Gosling. Yes. That, that sounds a lot like Ryan Gosling, the Hollywood actor. Has anyone ever um, pointed that out to you before? Many times. And are you related to Ryan Gosling? I don't know. You've never investigated? Nope. Gosling's lack of intellectual curiosity troubled me. But we pressed on with the task at hand. Allow me to introduce you all to... Glink! Good lord! I am Glink. Do not be afraid. You can shake his hand. Glink is sterilized every morning in a 500 degree steam bath. Doesn't hurt a bit, does it, Glink? Link feels no pain. Well, boy. Nice to meet you. Uh, I'd say that's quite the grip uh, Glink has there. I think you might need to dial down the pressure a little bit. Duly noted. Glink still had a few kinks to iron out, having been recently recalibrated by the council IT department. Because, interestingly, Glink was originally developed for military purposes by Cork-born robotics genius, Professor Levan O'Leary. You can imagine my surprise when Council informed me that Glink was subject to a compulsory purchase order. Ten long years I tiled on Glink, perfecting every aspect of his design. I believed him to be the most exquisite killing machine ever created. But we're taking it, they said. To help the people. They said. Nobody needs a military robot now, they said. People need entertaining and comforting. <laughs> so what exactly were the uses Council had in mind for Glink? I asked that question to Brian. So, Brian, what exactly are the uses the Council has in mind for Glink? Uh, multiple uses, Stephen. Glink has been reprogrammed to meet the needs of our beleaguered community, whilst also extolling the virtues of local government. Rules, regulations, hot-button issues. Mar Hamplach, mask compliance. Glink, this seat is for masked users only. Affirmative. <laughs> This chair is for masked users only. Please put on your mask. By order of Waterford City Council. Okay, okay. Thank you. The weather is great, isn't it? Glink is also programmed to synthesize a wide variety of interpersonal situations. For example, my partner Richard recently left me for another man, namely Alan, in accounts. Richard and I were together for several years. We planned on buying a house together. We even provisionally booked a month-long holiday to Provence. Using our council-designed app, I can scan the entire contents of my phone into Glink's AI database. And by harvesting, for example, Richard's digital footprint, Glink will be able to accurately recreate the subject's behaviors and thoughts. We believe this to be a very useful public tool to help users navigate 
complex domestic issues. <clears throat> For example, something a little bit like this. Where is my half of the holiday deposit, Richard? Brian, the deposit was not refundable. I'm not talking about the booking website, I'm talking about the money that I gave to you! Don't you think that I don't know that you're still going to Provence with Alan? Different hotel. And that's a damn lie, Richard! I've seen the emails! Brian, move on with your life. Don't talk to me like that, not now, not like this. Not after all we've been through together. You're tearing my heart apart, Richard! The relationship between man and machine is very complex, but it is thrilling to watch. Earlier, I downloaded the Council app, and now I quite fancy to go. That's very, that's very impressive. I must say, I, I, I quite fancy a go of uh, the Glink. Of course. If you wouldn't mind me stepping in here, so I just... For some months, I had been engaged in a passionate affair with my beloved Isabel. Online dating is what they call it. But we had yet to physically meet, or verbally speak. Hello, Stephen. Isabel, is that you? Affirmative. Oh, Isabel. Can we meet soon? Um, and where exactly do you live? Um, you've been a tad vague. Tremor Town, County Waterford. GPS location 52.159449. Oh, Isabel, this is fabulous news. What a time we shall have together. Weapon detected. Pardon me? Enemy detected. Destroy enemy. Isabel, what are you talking about? Kill. 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 As we say in car. The breathing will come out in the eyes of a cat. Or a robot. <laughs> As myself, Brian and the crew fled from the killer robot, one could not help but marvel at the technological advances being made during this extraordinary era. But progress is never a straight line, and there will be glitches all along the way.